This is an overview video for Illin and Stormrage on his recent changes that arrived in patch 17 released on March 29th, 2016. In this video I will be covering what's changed about him, what are his most popular talent choices, what team compositions work well with his playstyle, and my personal opinions on his strengths and weaknesses. I'm Tempo Goku and this is part of my ongoing series covering melee assassins. Starting with talent changes, and this hero has received a significant amount of them. Shadow Shield has been removed, Regeneration Master has been removed, Season Marksman has been removed, Follow Through has been removed, First Aid has been removed, Giant Killer has been removed, Blood for Blood has been removed, and Stone Skin has been removed. Betrayer's Thirst Trait Healing received increased from 20% to 40% of basic attack damage dealt. Thrill of Battle Talent removed, Thirsting Blade Talent redesigned and moved from level 4 to level 7. Increases Betrayer's Thirst Healing from 40% of basic attack damage to 60% of basic attack damage while Sweeping Strike is active. Hunter's Onslaught talents moved from level 16 to level 7. Healing increased from 15% to 25% of ability damage done. Now only affects basic abilities. Healing doubled against heroic targets. Dive. Lunge talent removed. Friend or foe talent moved from level 13 to level 4. Targeting an ally no longer reduces dive's cooldown. Now also increases dive range by 33%. Rapid Chase talent moved from level 7 to level 4. Movement speed bonus reduced from 20% to 15%. Reflexive Block talent. No longer triggered by evasion. Casting Dive now provides 3 block charges. Each charge reduces damage taken from the next incoming basic attack by 75%. Marked for Death. Talent redesigned and moved from level 4 to level 16. Dive deals an additional 230 damage plus 4% per level, each time it is cast against the same target within 10 seconds. Sweeping Strike Damage bonus re duration reduced from 4 seconds to 3 seconds. Fell Reach Talent removed. Second Sweep Talent removed. Batter Assault Talent redesigned. Hitting two or more enemies with hero heroes with Sweeping Strike increases its damage bonus from 35% to 100%. Immolation Talent moved from level 4 to level 1. Damage reduced from 29 plus 4% per level per second to 22 plus 4% per level per second. Unbound Talent moved from level 13 to level 4. Now also reduces the cooldown of Sweeping Strike by 5 seconds if it doesn't hit any enemies. New Talent level 16, Blades of Azanoth. Hitting an enemy hero with Sweeping Strike grants 1 Blades of Azanoth stack, up to a maximum of 5. Upon earning 5 stacks, Blades of Azanoth can be activated to gain 75% basic attack damage for 8 seconds. Activation consumes all stacks. Evasion. Duration increased from 2 seconds to 2.5 seconds. New Talent. Level 13. Elusive Strike. Reduces Evasion's cooldown by 3 seconds for every hero damage with Sweeping Strike. Sixth Sense. Talent. Ability damage reduction increased from 50% to 75%. Now only affects the first two abilities that would deal damage while Evasion is active. Metamorphosis. No longer increases attack speed. Health bonus increased from 183 to 200. Demonic Form now also provides 20% attack speed bonus. The Hunt Nowhere to Hide Talent now also passively reveals all enemy heroes who are below 25% health. So how do we incorporate all these new talents into an Illidan build? For level 1, you want to take Immolation. It allows you to have that early game damage when you need it. For level 4, Rapid Chase. It allows you to stick onto the opponent and it allows you to get away in sticky situations. For level 7, Thirsting Blade. It allows you to solo camps really easily and it heals you for a lot. For level 10, Metamorphosis. It allows you to heal up if you hit multiple enemies and it allows you to become an absolute tank. For level 13, Nimble Defender. Every time you do Sweeping Strike, you take 25% reduced damage. You'll be using Sweeping Strike in a lot of these situations and it'll be your most damaged ability. For level 16, Mark for Death. It allows you to kill squishies really easily and allows you to do a lot of damage to tanks. For level 20, Demonic Form. This talent allows you to become an absolute beast. It increases your attack speed by 20% and reduces duration of disabling effects against you by 50%. This build allows Illidan to work with these types of compositions. Multiple melee compositions and single support compositions. In the past, Illidan needed two supports to allow him to become viable, while in Korea they ran multiple melee compositions. The reason Korea ran this playstyle is because every melee assassin has a form of engagement, and that's what suffered with two supports, since they are unable to catch up to Illidan. My personal opinion. 
I believe that Illidan isn't overpowered compared to Lee Main and Zul, but he's very viable in Hero League. He can dive people very easily, has fantastic abilities to engage and disengage. He doesn't rely on supports as much as he, he used to. A couple of things he is weak against is that he's susceptible to burst comps. If you make the wrong move or mistake with Illidan, you can easily get punished. Attack speed reductions such as Zul's Curse Strikes or Muradin's Thunderclap, those are the greatest counters to Illidan since he can't dish out his full damage. In competitive, Illidan isn't that much of a threat since a lot of games are mostly done by objectives. And there are a lot of answers for him that require team coordination. While comps that work well with Illidan, such as full melee comps, because you can just steamroll the enemy team, I definitely can see him being played a lot in both the competitive and hero league. He can dish out more damage than he used to and become less of a burden. And that about covers it. I hope you found this guide helpful. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a patch note breakdown. Today we have a really big patch. Um, probably the biggest patch here as a scene in a long time. Might even be bigger than the scaling changes with how some of these changes are working. Uh